Now, I've been talking a lot about innovation and change. Innovation is hard. And where does innovation start? Well, it can really start anywhere in the pyramid, but the best kind of innovation starts in the bottom of the organization, your people who are talking to customers. And at Travelocity, I used to hold town meetings in the beginning. I just stood on a desk and there were 20 or 30 of us and would listen to things. That's where flight paging came from. We were the first guys to invent that. That's where fair watcher emails came from. That's where all kinds of innovation came from. But as a leader, I had to make sure we tried those things. You have to make sure that your employees understand this is not the Olympics where you just get one chance. This is baseball, right? You get to come back inning after inning. You have to celebrate success and you have to be okay with failure. And you have to deal with the bozone layer, okay? Now the bozone layer is middle management. And some of you are middle management, but I will tell you that people in general in the middle crush innovation. They don't want change. They don't want to take a chance. So as leaders or as innovators, how do you crush the bozone layer? What you have to do is encourage success and be okay with failure and listen to people and act and try. And then you can be successful in creating a culture where innovation is OK. Because innovation is hard. Nobody wants change. But if you're going to lead, you've got to innovate. And I think one of the ways to do that is to mix old world knowledge with youthful exuberance. At Travelocity, we had a lot of young people, sort of the orange hair and earring set. You know, This industry is broken. Only they could fix it. Messianic zeal. No industry knowledge or contacts. On the other side, we had the dot corpse, or maybe C-O-R-P-S-E, I'm not sure, corpse. Um, <laughs> they were the suits. The industry is fine, it didn't need fixing, slow pace, but they understood the domain, right? They got it. And when you put the two together, they were cats in a bag, they fought like crazy. But out of that crucible came some wonderful ideas. So if your principal market in college is college students, I hope you have some college students working there, and I hope you let them innovate, and I hope they're telling you what they think and you're listening and you're not always agreeing, but you're pushing back and forth. Because those are the people who are online. Amazon has a great rule about innovation. Two pizza teams. If the team is larger than can be fed with two pizzas, it's too big. Okay? <laughs> Cut it in half. And they do that. They segment their teams. Nice rule of thumb. Big teams don't work. And how about people who don't fit in? You know, a lot of organizations expel them. Those are the people with the best ideas. They're harder than hell to manage, but sometimes they're really smart, you know, and they're successful. So think about people who don't fit in.